Hello everyone, welcome to 3dDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the initial setup for the car project. Okay, so before we start, um, I'm gonna do a few checks and I'm going to go to preferences, go to construction options, and I'm gonna make sure that my setting is at alias tutorial with the continuity at 0 0.01 for maximum gap G0, G1 0.1, G2 also 0.1. Okay, so I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna turn that off. And in order to start, I'm going to put a cube at the center. So I'm gonna to go to under surfaces, go to cube, and I'm gonna enter zero and enter. Now, right now the cube is at a slightly below the plane. Um, so I'm gonna to go to a side view, move the pivot to the corner, and I'm just gonna bring it up like this. Okay. And after that, I'm going to set up the box for the initial size of the, uh, in, I'm going to set up the initial box for the size of the vehicle. So I'm just going to click pick object and I'm going to go to information window. Actually, before, uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go to information window and go under transformation info, trans, uh, transform info, we're going to set, um, we're going to be entering the dimensions for the vehicle. Okay, so let me just pull the image up. So if you see this image, it gives you all the dimensions that you need for the car. So we're gonna start with the length. So the length of the car is a four, uh, 40, uh, 4,900 millimeters. So let's enter that. Let just put this to the side. So the length, now it says scale, but this is basically uh, 100, which means, um, if you enter the millimeters as is, it'll give you the exact size. So 4901 for the X. And let's see, the width is, looks like it's a 1935. We are going to exclude the size of the mirror. Well, in this case, at the camera. So 1935 for the width. Okay. And for the height, it looks like it's a 1629. So let's enter that. Oops, 1629. Okay, and that'll give us the dimension of the vehicle. Okay, so right now it's a little bit off the grid, so let's move that a little bit. So let's uh, center the pivot. And right now I'm just gonna center it to the grid by using Alt uh, Grid Snap. I'll to right mouse button to restrict the movement to up and down. And I'm going to move it just a slightly into the, actually, I'm just gonna center it like this. So just move the pivot to the center of uh, your box and just snap it using Alt and middle mouse button like this. So that the cube, or the, uh, not the cube, uh, so that it's uh, the shape sits right uh, within the grid. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, is, uh, th and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be putting canvases. So let me just create a new layer and I'm gonna put this right here and I'm gonna say canvas. Okay, so there are several canvas images that we're going to be importing so i'm just going to run side view first and i'm going to go to file import canvas image i'm going to go to the options box and i'm going to make sure that, that this option is checked on i'm going to say go now the reason why we're checking this on is because i do not know why but if you do not have this option on which i uh basically the canvas images are going to stack on top of another, which is not what you want. So I'm gonna say go. Now I already cropped the canvas images, uh, the orthographic drawings into their respective, um, I guess, uh, respective sizes, uh, respective positions. So, so for the side view, so I'm just gonna say double click on that. And I'm also going to, because right now the image is way too big, I'm just gonna turn the transparency down in order to help uh, help me scale it. So I'm gonna say 0.8. Oh, maybe too light, maybe 0.3. Okay, so I'm going to just grab the canvas and I'm just gonna scale it like this. 
until it is similar to the size of the box that we just created. Okay, it looks like we need to make it a little bit bigger. Looks like the length is a little bit short, which is kind of weird, but maybe it does need to be Okay, so if this is the case, I'm just gonna make sure that the length of fits uh, in the box. Okay, actually, before we continue, I'm gonna I'm just gonna double check that my uh, cube is the right or yeah, cube is the right size. Information window. Okay, so the length is 4901. The width is 1935, and the height. Is 1629. So it looks like I had all the dimensions right. I don't know why it's not fitting perfectly, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just have to we'll just have to deal with it. Okay, so maybe it's got to do with the height. Okay, so anyways, I think the length is more important, so I'm just gonna make sure that the length is a fitting right on the canvas, uh, right on the cube, size of the cube. So maybe scale it down just a little bit. Oh, maybe up. Okay, I'm just gonna scale it just a little bit more. I'm gonna make sure that these are fitting. Okay, just gonna move it up just a little. Okay, so it looks like it's fitting quite well. Um, the height is a little bit off, but I think uh, maybe it's not counting the rail. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. So I'm gonna make sure that the length is exact on all of them. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now, uh, going back to the perspective view, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, move the canvas. I'm just gonna move it to the side because uh, this is where we actually have to model. And the canvas image, uh, we're only going to reference when we are in the side view. So I'm just gonna move it to the side a little bit. Okay, so let's go to the top view. So I'm gonna say import canvas image. And I already have the top, uh, top image uh, cropped. Okay, so that it's exactly the size of the image. So I'm just gonna also do the same thing. Just scale it so that it fits the length of the car, uh, the length of the image fits within the length of the cube. So I'm just going to actually center it, center pivot. And scale it. Okay, so it looks like it's fitting well there and it's fitting well there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Okay, and on both sides, I think it's fitting well. Okay, so I'm gonna put that also in the canvas layer. Now let's go to the rear view, F7. I'm gonna say import canvas image. And I'm going to import, actually I'm going to import the front. Okay, I'm gonna snap it to to grid, um, middle mouse button, uh, alt, middle mouse button, and alt, right mouse, oh, actually this one, can't really do that. Okay, so just, I center it side to side with the uh, alt, middle mouse button, and I'm just gonna scale it so that we can fit it in within the box. This, okay, I'm just gonna use the side to side size as a reference. Okay, I think that's good. And let's move it down. Like this. Okay, it's a little bit big, so I think I might just try to scale it down just a little bit. Okay, and move it down just a hair. Okay, so it looks like it's sticking out a little bit, but I think um, we noticed 
that also on the side view. So I think this is okay. Maybe just a little bit down. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm actually going to create a new layer and I'm going to call it front and I'm gonna go to the perspective view. And this one, I'm gonna put it towards the rear. The reason why I'm putting it, uh, I'm putting it towards the rear is because if I'm modeling from the front, I want the surfaces to be primary and the canvas to be sort of a secondary. So um, that the canvas doesn't interfere with the modeling window. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that here and I'm gonna set the state to reference so that it doesn't move on its own. Okay, I'm just gonna turn that off and new. Oops. Okay, so I think I, uh, I might have accidentally put the, uh, the box in there. So I'm just gonna bring it back to the canvas layer and I'm going to call this rear. I'm gonna turn the front layer off and I'm going to go back to the rear view and let's import one more image. So I'm gonna say rear. So same thing, I'm going to position this at the center of the grid and I'm gonna scale it so that it fits within the box like that. Just gonna move it up. Okay, so it looks like it's this one is fitting better, but I think it should be scaled up just a bit because we wanna make sure that all the images are fitting as they should. Okay, just move it up a little bit. Okay. I should scale it up just a little bit more. To the side a little bit. Okay. Move it up just a bit. Okay, so it looks like it's a fitting. Oops. Uh, wait, that's what happened. I think I made it way too big for. Oh, uh, I don't know if I don't proportion or scale. Okay, so I think I might have done something wrong. So I'm just going to go to information window, and make sure that I didn't scale up by accident. Okay, yes. I think I might have. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete the canvas image and I'm going to start over. So again, go to rear view, import canvas image. And I'm going to pick the rear center, scale it. Like this. Move it to the side. Okay, that's fitting better. Yeah, I think that looks good. Oops. I accidentally clicked on something. So I'm just gonna move back up. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe scale up just a little bit and move it to the side. Okay, I think that looks good. So I'm gonna put this uh, put this image in the rear layer, uh, rear layer and I'm gonna make sure that the state is set to a reference. Oh, actually before that, I'm just gonna move this one, on the other hand, to the front like this. So that when I'm uh, modeling from the rear, uh, rear view, this uh, canvas doesn't interfere with the surfaces. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, so I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna make sure. Okay, so the front is set up, the rear image, rear canvas is set up, the top and the side is also set up. So I'm gonna uh, call, I'm gonna also make sure that this is in a reference layer so that it doesn't move while I'm modeling. 
Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Um, okay, so that's it for the initial setup phase. Um, we will continue building the model in the next tutorial. And thank you guys for watching.